What's up, everyone? Indulge here back with more Fire Emblem Heroes. This is the Mock Battle Edition of Ether Raids Week 121. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to be notified when I post. Let's get right to it. we got three fights today. All right, first up is Marmar with our new Cactuar Fire emoji kanji symbol. If you want to be a part of the clan, you can find that symbol in the video description as well as details of how you can be a part of the action here as well. Marmar's got a really disgusting team with some new skills. I'm going to highlight them here really quickly and be on our way. I'm going to shut down this dancer with Mila to start, and I'll explain the rest of the team. You've got Duo's Hindrance in anticipation for all the Lin shenanigans we're about to face. You've got a Felix with Far Save. That's sort of the star of the show here. You've also given him Attack Def Unity. So, fairly expensive Felix here. You've got Sigurd, who's got Fatal Smoke, which is super annoying. So these two... Uh, really ruined my day in terms of my tanks. I can't... He's a really good Ike counter just by default. Just the way, unless you have a null follow-up Ike, he just makes a guaranteed follow-up attack and just kind of blows me away. Um, really nice defense. Defense, 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 defense. So, it's really difficult for Ike to take him on. Um, I could show you how this works, but I'm assuming you know that this functions well against tanks. So, I mean, take my word for it. If I come up here, come up here, I get destroyed by these two. Uh, Fatal Smoke just really hurts Dimitri as well. You've got an Ike anchoring this, basically acting as a, yeah, a defensive anchor. If I try to player phase this, it becomes very difficult, difficult because of this Felix. Um, now you're, you're not, you're not going for the kill. He's got an okay amount of speed, but not a lot of speed. So, I mean, a strong, fast, green player phase unit may be able to fell him in one shot because, like, he, again, that speed's not fantastic. You're not doubling me, so that is the weakness. You got double dancers. I can stop this Triandra, but here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to mitigate the far save and this just by going deep into it to start. Uh, I think let's do something like this. Intentionally actually leaving that chair there. I want air to end up here. And I'm just going to go for a hit and run. Now, look, that Felix has got a bow. He's doing 70 damage. But good thing we've got Claude with 80% reduction on the first hit. And this is just a simple hit and run. I'm just going to move, get out of the way, and that's it. And unfortunately, that gravity effect is going to cause... And, and, and coupled with the Mila is not going to let them be able to do anything to me. So, from here, no distant counter, so I'm going to debuff him a bit with air, just get the smoke on here. What's this? We got Fatal Smoked, but that's okay. Because you're not going to get it again once I do this. Let's go. Sigurd has fallen, you can't move. And I'm going to take advantage of the fact that you have aerobatics there, and I can't move. This dancer shut down. As you say. Just going to run this. away. And we're going to take that one dancer, pick that off. So yeah, I mean, one of the only things I can do against these far save teams, and this is one of the functions I have with Claude, and this is just perfect. I mean, and it, it's, this Bram pivots. I don't know why you want Bram to pivot, but I don't think you want Bram to pivot, dude. Because <laughs> if Bram doesn't pivot, it can become very difficult to destroy him because I don't have any close range things. So he sneaks in there. Now, I do have a solution. If Bram stays in the corner... There, there is, there exists a possibility where I can actually one-shot this Felix. I don't know. I, I couldn't replicate it, but this was the easiest thing I could show you. I, I mean, maybe there's a situation where you want Bram to pivot, but I don't think you do. You want him to be near Felix. So when, because of that, I can just kind of, I think I'm going to actually chip the Ike. As you say. I want to chip this Ike because I can poison strike him. That's kind of why I did that. Let's go. And now he's dead. Yes, Bram's dead. You're dead. And I've got 80% reduction on that peony. I'm just going to move Layla out of the way. Either of them could take the, the hit for us, but I'd rather Claude do it. Because he's got 80% reduction. Now you got this sad little Felix all by himself. Get that ether. Finish the job. There you go. That's my solution to your team. Really, really gross. Let me come back here again with just a... Defensive tank just to show you how ugly this is. 
So, I mean, I think you you really do have enemy phase and player phase pretty much well in hand. You just kind of have to be wary of these hit and run tactics with that with with Claude. Claude in particular just really hurts the gravity there. I, I really like him. I was I was I was on the fence about how useful he could be, but he's man, he becomes one of the best hit and runners in the game if you could just poke and run, and that's my favorite thing to do. So, I'm appreciative of that. Okay. Um, let me just quickly show you. Yeah, so there's Panic Manor here. I've been talking about how I like Ike being above Panic Manor. And if I just do a simple tank like this, I mean, I'm not getting all peony buffs here. But that's not bad. Peony, three buffers, and no panic. Let's see what we have. Again, okay, the Sigurd is just so gross. I just, I, I don't even touch the dude. And now I get Fatal Smoke that can't do anything else, and he just blows me away. So that's that's a solution that doesn't work with Ike, and then I have no chance here. With the Felix in the front line, I, bestow my blessing. I can't even touch him. It will be done. The glimmer and it's just death. So you definitely got tanking under control. Anything else I'd, I'd mention? I mean, I know. I mean, I like the map. I like the setup. I like the little honeypot panic manner. This is your strength. If somebody comes here, it's going to be a bad time. I do think your weakness is on the right side, Marmar. So, thanks for that fight. I appreciate it. Let's do another one. All right, we have Lankion here. Did I, did I, are you the one that recommended this, Lankion? I'm pretty sure you did. I have to go look at my notes. But uh, we all have um, Lankion to thank for the, the symbol, I believe. I got to go look at my notes. Hold on a minute. Yes, I'm not crazy. It's all your fault. <laughs> Uh, and thank you very much. Uh, Lincoln, I've just got a simple, i got a simple Ike clear here for you. You're not going to like this. You're not going to like this at all. I, I have a feeling. Um, I'm feeling you're going to be sad. Like, oh no. So you want to be fought on fire, and I see why. You've got double Hectors here, and you've got Lelina with a simple rally. And that simple rally is going to be your downfall. Because if that doesn't come off, it all falls apart. It all falls apart. We've got just, just crazy. You're going speed, Lelina. I mean, assuming you're just doing this for the attack. Right? I'm assuming you're just doing this for the attack. Eh. I see it. I, I, I get it, I guess. But I'm not going to let her hit me. <laughs> so it's kind of moot anyway. Um, but here's the thing. This is not a... This is not a fire sweep win. doesn't matter. I would, I would be able to stop that anyway this week. I think I need an air over here to help. I do want this mill to stop that rally. And then what else do I want to do? I don't remember if I wanted Peony behind you or Lucina. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. But basically, Hector's here with Wings of Mercy, and then you've got Armored Boots. There's a Harsh Command that's going to help that Lin. Oh, I just shut that rally down. Watch what happens. I can hide these folks just in the corner. The Lina doesn't rally. I've shot... I've I believe that Dancer's going to get involved because she's going to want to jump. And that's not good. So all your Dancers are gone, and now Lelina's in the back, and there's nearly nothing they can do. Now, that is not quite what I wanted to have happen. What, what actually happened up happening was Lelina chased over here, and I could blow her up. But from here, I think I can just run away, and there's really nothing else you can do. This... This Bram coming down is going to be a problem. Oh, this isn't what I wanted. So, okay. Hector's not dying. Maybe this is going to work out for you because this is not this is not what happened last time. <laughs> Crap. That's what I get for talking like easy pickings and then I, I don't actually retest things. Hmm, do you have already bearing? You don't. So... Okay. Okay, I think I'm still all right. All right, I'm still okay. They're still orphan. They really can't do much else. Bram's dead. That was just totally winging it there. Now I just got to race to get this either before Hector gets there. And that's... Oh, God! <laughs> 
<laughs> That's not my bad. I wasn't paying attention that he had armored boots. All right, so trust me that I, hopefully in a real world scenario, I would actually pay more attention. That. I was just going kind of fast. But let me show you one more time. I want to show you what, what, a little difference. The Velina goes right. I don't know why she went left that time. So we'll, we'll try to figure that out. I'll be right back. So I haven't tested this, so it's going to be new. Instead, instead of having uh, Lucina rather shove up, I'm having Peony instead. And if I do something like this, I believe this gets me to have Lilina go to the right. I don't know who she's targeting exactly. Yeah, same thing. We'll just rush through this again. Yeah, in that case, she went this way, which is perfect. So this makes some, this makes some interesting movements here. I can do this, kill her. Do this, dance, shove. If it's a trap, it helps me. If it's not, it's not a big deal. Whatever. I'd still double the Bram, and then that's it. Much easier solution. That's what I had before. Now from here, we can get rid of that Hector now. And he's not going to rush me, because the one that <laughs> one that just scared the hell out of me just died. And then from here, it's a, it's a pretty... Easy clear. Have any chance of stopping me? I don't think so. That that should do it. Eh, it doesn't matter. We got the clear. So uh, let's go back and, and see if we can do anything to fix that. You, you just, you're all very vulnerable to Mila. I mean, it is Mila. It's Mila week, right? Is it Mila week? No, no, it's Air week. But like, you got to be careful with these rallies with Lelina, and especially this aerobatics. You could take that aerobatics off. That might help taking that aerobatics off because you don't want your dancers to kill themselves and I, I just I took advantage of that here is Lynn too could this Lynn do anything different you're going blazing I, I see what the, the point of this is you're going blazing uh, but, I mean Lena's already gonna already gonna get a get her blazing right isn't that the point she's got cooldown what am I missing here isn't there something else is it Oh, wait a minute. You, you, oh, okay. Yeah, she's got a special, she's got a special, right? Can I look at her skills? No. I'm going to say, Lena's whole thing is that she has a special, special that gives her minus cool, two cooldown, but you're actually just helping her dad, helping her get even more stronger. So yeah, okay, I get it now. If this Lena actually hits me, it's going to hurt like a mofo. <laughs> I just didn't let her hit me. So you just have the one dancer though, and that's really difficult. I actually haven't tried this. If I just stop the dancer instead, what happens? Is it is it the same thing? The only difference here is I'm stopping the dancer. There's no rally this time. So it's similar behavior. Yeah, you got the swap out of there. But it's the same problem. I mean, I could just come run away. You have no dancer. And the problem with this team is you just have one dancer, and once I shut it down, it's all over. So I, I imagine I could do something to this end, but... So it's a cute team, but it's pretty easily beat by Mila, so that, that's... You're going to have to watch out for that. I can, I can either stop the rally or I can stop the dancer. All right, let's do another one. All right, last up today is our good friend Oho. Oho's been here a long time. We had good back and forth over the years now. Wow, I mean, I've been doing this for years. I can say years now we've been playing this together. So, it's always fun to play Oho. And Oho's just got a super gross team. And I'm going to use a Claude team. And I can't believe I found a solution to this way. I'm going to have to uh, rack my brain because I've already forgotten. I might have to pause and just play this out. But, uh, it's this guy. This guy is just really making me mad. Because, like, he's a good Ike counter by default. And because of his weapon, he, he ends up one-shotting Dimitri. Which, I know Dimitri's... Dimitri's res isn't great, so that's a that's a bad thing, and that really hurts. The lull attack res just really hurts me, and it just coupled with all the defense you're giving him, defense, uh, uh, it's a really good counter against four of my team. So at the end of the day, this is the only team I have left. I'm gonna try to recall from memory what I did. So I'm gonna be able to stop this Veronica with a with an air. I don't think you're actually gonna outspeed me. Nor would you be able to hurt me. I've got 47 res. 47 res is pretty good. It should be enough to stop this Veronica. It's a plus two. Um, and then Claude. The good thing about Claude is I stop your stupid follow-up. That's that's all I need. If I can survive the one hit, you're gone. And once, I mean, once Leaf is gone, I'm in much better position. Much better position. I'm going to shut that Triandra down with a Milla so these two can't do anything. 
And then from there, we'll see what happens. I don't remember what else I wanted to do, though. Got a really gross Panic Manor 8 here. Oh, I, I really hate that there. That's one of the best places you could put that, because if you try to break it, it's you just can't do it in a cap line. You do have a Restore Trap that's active. But I believe... I believe she'll try to hit me anyway, because... She wants to. If she did, it wouldn't matter anyway, because that Ronica wouldn't move. And then from there, I don't know. I do believe I want Peony to get a buff on this Claude, because I can do that. So I don't have much of a, uh, else of a choice here. Since Mila has to be here, this is the only configuration I can make. So I'm going to break the snowman in the desert, dance the Mila to get buffs to Claude. Claude's not going to get his solo buff. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence of what to do with that. Do I want that solo or not? I don't know. Let's go. But I've been able to clear out everything. I'm not getting panicked. I can deal with the leaf. I can deal with the Veronica. I've dealt with the dancer. This is my best answer for this cab line. I'm not sure I even looked at the rest of the teams. But because he doesn't have no follow-up, and Fatal Smoke won't trigger if he dies, I think you still had Fatal Smoke. I can beat the Lin now, thankfully, with Layla. I've still shut down that Dancer, so if we can beat the Reinhardt, we're pretty much good to go. We beat the Reinhardt, we're pretty much good to go. I can dance out of here now. And let's just bait that Veronica. So we can get rid of her. She's baited. Dancer can't move. Bram's not dead, but I think I can get him. We're just going to have Veronica do What's Veronica this? things. Like this. Uh, hold on, actually. This isn't quite what I had happen last time. It will be done. Do have a smite. Yes, Veronica will kill the Milla. As you say. Uh, if I come here, can I beat the Bram? I think so. So now I get my fire sweep action that moves him that way. This will allow me to move the Mila out of danger zone. It will be done. Sure thing. And I beat the dancer. And again, once again, we can just have Veronica and Air play with each other. Or you can do that and make a fool out of me, Veronica. Okay. I mean, you're just not going to have enough firepower to stop me. She's in a bad spot, though. How do I get out of this? 47, 47. <laughs> I just want this to be done with, and I don't think I've got it. Let me, let me think about this. I, I've got to block. And do, you have enough, do you have enough speed to deal with the panic manner, too? As you say. 53, it's a lot of speed. Smart move. You know, in a normal situation, I might just take this take this clear here. The glimmer of life. If that's the trap, I'm kind of boned. So Good morning. I say boned too much. <laughs> How do I get over there now? Uh, As you say. That might be the best thing I can do here. I'm going to get panicked, though. I hope Layla's not dead. Layla's not dead. We just need to do that one more time. However, now I'm, now I'm, in, now I'm screwed, though. I, I can't. Peony's not going to have enough speed here. So you got me. You got me. Let's try this again. and see if we can get an actual final solution to this. Again, it does come down to stopping that. I think this is the position I wanted. As you say, I bestow my blessing. Good morning. Maybe I don't want to break the snowman. So, I mean, 
I would probably fall for that mistake. Or yeah, maybe not, because I don't remember them coming so deep yes. over here. Smart move. With the dancer dead, Let's could go. we just do... Sure thing. Could we just try to kill the... Oh, what did I do? Gravity the Bram, is that enough? Is that enough to stop this Bram? I didn't even consider that. I'm gonna get panic though. I bestow my blessing. 80% reduction. I do have no follow-up built in, so I don't think he's gonna be able to do anything to me. And that's a much easier solution. I don't know why I didn't like think this. of that. Much easier. Just leverage the fact that I have gravity. What's this? I'm just gonna leave that alone so you can't do anything. Can I actually be more aggressive here? I think I can. Both of them can deal with the assault from Veronica. That was pretty close. Am I gonna get messed up again? Okay, I can smite you. She's dead, so now all I have to do is this. What's this? And there we go. We finally got a real perfect clear for you. Oh, ho. All right. Well, that will do it for me. That was three good fights. <laughs> Claude's proving his use. So he took down a far save team. He took down a horsey team. I do probably need to build around him. I do probably need to build, get another <laughs> merge of him because I would love to have at least that speed bane off of him. But, man, he is really useful for hit and run. And even some tanky scenarios there. Uh, his no follow-up no follow is super helpful against Leafs. Uh, and it's not even his bonus unit season, guys. Oh, man, that's going to be fun to play with him when it's bonus unit season. I was on the fence to pick him up, but um, he's, he's proving his use. And he's going to be uh, helpful on both Astra and Light. So let me know if you have any comments for today's fights, if you want to be put on the schedule. Again, look at the video description for full details on how you can be featured here on the show. Newcomers are preferred. I don't think I'm going to make a video to close out the week because it doesn't matter. We've already got it. So this is the video I'll be posting tomorrow. Stay tuned for more Vault of Heaven action next week on Astra. <laughs> this, was a, this was an interesting penalty box week. I enjoyed it. I don't want to do it again, so we'll do our best to make sure we don't do dumb things like accidentally taking two clears that lost both pots. It's how we're in this position, if you didn't watch last week's scenario, uh, um, fights, rather. So, we're going we're gonna to make sure we don't do that again, at least. Stay tuned for the meta era, or the Lin meta era, rather, uh, coming up in a, in a few days as well. Bring out your duo structures. Bye, guys!